Tonight on EA Sports, Super Bowl 57. We'll see Aaron Rodgers and the Green Bay Packers taking on Mac Jones and the New England Patriots. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. We count down to kickoff in what should be an epic one here, as it'll be the AFC champion New England Patriots taking on the NFC champions, the Green Bay Packers. Brandon going alongside Charles Davis and Charles the Patriots. We know the sequence of events. Tom Brady leaves for Tampa. He went Super Bowl 55. And the Patriots are kind of middle of the pack for two years. But they turn right around, win the AFC title, and now making their record 12th appearance in a Super Bowl. And I certainly like how you set everything up there, partner, because it certainly felt from the outside that this run of titles was over for this team, that they were going to fall into rebuilding mode. But how about this group? They still believed in themselves, and they made it back to the big game. Meanwhile, the Packers are back as they look to bring another Super Bowl title home to a place aptly named Title Town. And they're looking for their fifth win, which would tie them with the Cowboys and 49ers for second all time. They did last win it in 2011. That was Super Bowl 45. Aaron Rodgers leading them over the Pittsburgh Steelers. But when you talk about titles, and you mentioned title town, they've won 13 championships overall when you count all the NFL titles prior to the Super Bowl era as well. So this is a town that's used to winning, and they expect to win this one as well. stage is finally set and here we go Super Bowl 57 is underway and we will not have a return so the first drive of this Super Bowl will begin at the 25 veteran Green Bay quarterback Aaron Rodgers ready to go for drive number one along with the rest of this Packer offense but we all know this past offseason that Aaron Rodgers had options and there's a possibility he might leave Green Bay but he chose to return to the only franchise he's known and for the second time has them playing in the Super Bowl. First play and a first throw for Rodgers. Tunyon's got it on the out route. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. A good start offensively. 15 yards on the game's initial play. So quickly all the way up at the 40-yard line. Here's Rodgers. He'll go right back to Tunyon. So five yards here, five on the play, and it'll be second down. But Charles, as we've covered, they've already clinched their spot in the postseason, so now they just want to avoid adding any additional names to this list before the postseason begins. Terrific observation because trying to move up a, a spot, I don't know if it's worth it if you're trying to play guys who aren't quite right. Get them healthy, get ready for the playoffs, make your move then. And they're able to work this across midfield to the 48. I like the screen being called here early in the game, especially on the opening drive, because, Brandon, when guys come out of the locker room, especially those pass rushers, they are so amped up to get to the quarterback that you can use that against them, and a screen pass is a great way of doing it. A lot of teams against good pass rushing teams, they want to run the screen 10 to 12 times in a game. But yet another completion here on this opening drive, and he's now perfect 4-4 four of four to start. Pretty solid execution here. And how about how everyone's handled their nerves? Because you know what it's like to start a ball game. You're so amped up and ready to go, and sometimes the execution isn't there. They've been flawless so far. Well drilled, well prepared, and excited to start this game. And he goes down at the 26. A pickup of 13, and that last play began at the 13. First down. After the run by Jones, here's first and ten. 
to throw is Rodgers. He'll complete this one to Watson. And he's brought down, but not before a gain of 13. Down to the 13. First and 10 in the red zone. Now it's Rodgers. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. Points one, two, and three in their defensive game plan was to get to the quarterback and knock the ball free. They did it there. Luckily, offense hangs on to it. Yeah, that's got to serve as a wake-up call, though, because they can't afford to let the ball go over to the defense and miss opportunities. And I'm not saying it happened here, but you know what a good rule of thumb is when a play like that occurs? You know who usually recovers it? The guy who missed his block and let his quarterback get hit. They get 16 out of that one, but they'll still need to convert on third. An eight-play drive to this point. So here's play number nine on third and seven. Now Rodgers. Going right side here, and that's complete. And yeah, they get him down about two yards shy of the line to gain. A third down pickup of five. Now Aldrich Rosas for the field goal attempt. From the right hash here, should be an easy one. Rosas' kick is good. And the Packers are off to a 3-0 lead. Three points, probably not going to win this Super Bowl, but at least she gets something on the opening drive. And it's certainly not going to lose it. So the bottom line is, come away with the points now, come back and get greedy later, and try and put it in the end zone. And this will come out to the 25 as Jones elects for the touchback. So out come the Patriots here to get their first shot on offense. Leading them out, the second-year man from Alabama, Mac Jones. And I don't think that we can help but recognize the similarity of this moment for Jones to the guy who came before him in New England. In Tom Brady's second season, he led the Pats to the first of nine Super Bowl appearances in his time there. And now, in his second season with New England, here's Mac Jones leading them out on the biggest stage in sports. Can he follow through tonight and bring New England its record-breaking seventh Super Bowl title? Stay tuned. A bit of an opening there on the first down run as they get this forward for about six yards. This Super Bowl, of course, just a huge one for this head coach. The first time he's walked the sidelines in a game of this magnitude. And you know, I might normally ask the cliche, what's going through his mind right now? But maybe the better question, CD, what do you think are the pitfalls of being a first-time head coach in this game? Well, you know it's something that he thought about, Brandon, and he had to. And he was thinking about it long before he got to this stage. As the season progressed and he saw that his team was good, if he was smart, he started to make plans right then and there. Reach out to other coaches who've been there before. Find out how they handled winning, losing, handling all the ticket situations, travel, practice, all those things. And then trust your gut, make your best decision, and put it all out there and give your team their best chance to win. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. They run again with Harris. And he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 40. Four yards the pick up, first down. Throwing Jones. Open man here, the tight end Henry. And he'll be brought down at the 27. Pretty solid opening drive here, Charles. They've worked in the run game, the pass game, just steadily getting yards, and now they've got it inside the red zone here with an opportunity. And the only thing they don't have so far is points. But the way that they're moving the ball now, that shouldn't take much longer. And they've established a great balance so far, running, passing, doing what they want on offense. And yeah, he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. Back-to-back -back nice gains, that one for 14 yards and another first. But when you hit him on the move like that, and he's able to get into open field with a full head of steam, oh, boy, it's going to be tough to get him down. Yeah, there was a big window. They're lucky they did get him down. And here he'll get it down to the seven. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. And when you get good yardage like that on first down, it really does a whole lot of good for your entire offense. But I love the way he's finishing those runs. At the end of things, he's making sure he gets just a little bit extra. There's Henry. Touchdown, Patriots. 
A seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Patriots are able to answer the early three points and take a first-quarter lead. And the QB rating right now is sky high. Four for four on that opening drive, and it ends with a touchdown pass. Yeah, I don't know quite how to figure it out. I think I need my friends from MIT to come in and help me. <laughs> I think 158.3 is the number one. Yep, that, that's the, right, that's the highest you can get. That's where he is. He'd like to continue on that pace. Extra point up and good by Folk, and that makes it a 7-3 lead. So that one, an eight-play drive. It spans 75 yards, and it ends with a New England touchdown. Folk now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. And there will not be a return here. It's a touchback, and it'll come out to the 25-yard line. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. They trail early on in this Super Bowl as they come up first and 10. Here's Rodgers to throw. Caught left side by Cobb. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 11 yards and a Green Bay Packer first down. And they'll keep on the ground with Jones. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple and that's it. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly. And that was because the defensive front they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. A yard in the wrong direction makes third down tougher. Third down and nine. <laughs> to throw, it's Rodgers. A throw complete to the tight end, Tunyon. And they'll get him down about three yards short of the first. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and that's going to make it fourth down. I thought maybe when he caught it, he'd have a good chance of getting that first down, but that's a nice job of holding him up and preventing him from getting to the sticks. And he'll get off a fairly short kick here as this is toward the sideline. So back onto the field come the Pats for their second drive. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. We're backed up here, tough spot, needing 11 yards to pick up the first. Now Jones. This one incomplete. Almost picked off by the rookie, but he couldn't quite look it in. And now it's fourth down. They'll try and throw for it here. Open man, the tight end, Henry. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. So not only do they convert on fourth, but they pick up 22 yards in the process. Well, they picked up the first down. But I'm just going to say, I didn't like it before the ball was snapped. <laughs> and I don't like it now that they picked it up. Think about field position on their own side of the 50. They don't get it. They put their defense in a bad spot. And it's just not a decision that pays off very often. Well, it wasn't fourth in a yard. There was there was some meat on that bone. There really was. Fortunate to get it in that situation, but not a call I would make very often. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Not a huge carry there on first down, but not all of them will be. But still, all in all, a positive play for the offense. It's all about picking up at least a few to set up what you're going to do here on second down. And the tackle going to be made at the 38. Well, 
Wild look like a quick hitter, a three-step drop. But when it's not there, what do you do? He elects to try and escape through the mass of bodies up the middle, and he does so and picks up positive yardage. Trying to pick it up on the ground with Harris. And he gets it to the 34. Good enough for the first. They're able to convert with a gain of four. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. That's going to be caught. It's Jacoby Myers. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. A well-executed 22-yard gain. Harris running straight ahead. He'll get this down inside the 10 for a pickup of about three. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. You got to be precise with your throws, especially in this situation. You're inside the 10-yard line going into the end zone. But sometimes the emotion, the excitement, sometimes the decisions just aren't made very well because of that. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Patriot touchdown. Ramondre Stevenson, a nine-yard touchdown run. And the Patriots will add to their first quarter lead here in this Super Bowl. That almost looked too easy, and I think thanks goes to the offensive line for making it look easy. Yeah, I agree with you totally on that one. I'm not sure how much everyone understands the preparations that go into a game for an offensive line because there's a reason that running backs and quarterbacks give them big gifts at the end of the season after a big year. The consistency and the continuity it takes to know each other and execute their blocks is pretty impressive. Full connects on the extra point, and that pushes the lead up to 11. Folk now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. And this will not be returned. It's a touchback, and they'll begin at the 25. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. They trail early on in this Super Bowl as they come up first and 10. They'll start out on the ground with Jones. And he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. Two yards the loss, second and 12. And our statistician, Ben Ramsar, just held up three fingers to remind me he now has three tackles for a loss rolling in the first quarter. Well, Ben's got it detailed perfectly. He always gives us the right stats. I'd love to be on the offense's headset right now because what you're hearing is, can someone please block him, come up with a scheme, come up with something, make sure you block him because he's disrupting everything. On first down, Rodgers. Caught by Cobb. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And that'll make it second down. Rodgers with a give. It's Aaron Jones. Nowhere to go that time. He maybe got a yard up to the 40. But now they're in a spot that every team tells us when we have our production meetings, they don't want to be in third and long. And that's because those back-to-back -back running plays just didn't accomplish a whole lot. That's complete to Cobb. And he's going to have a Packers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. So he turned to a trusted, familiar face in that third down situation. It paid off. Yeah, you go to your veteran receiver in that spot. So you can't underestimate him when he's on the field defensively. Make sure you know where he is because he understands how to get open in key situations. Second down, it's Jones. And they see right through that defensively as he'll be hit and taken down to the backfield. That's a big loss of three, and it brings up third down. Not an easy spot here. They'll be in search of 13 yards to try to pick up the first. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. This is Cobb with a catch right side. 
And they'll bring him down right at midfield, and he is well short of the first down. So just three yards on the completion there. And that'll bring up fourth down. Here's Presley Harvin now. This is away, but boy, headed straight for the sidelines. There, this punt will go out of bounds. I think it'll be inside the 25, and it will. Right at the 24-yard line is where they'll spot it. Jones and the Pats now with a first and 10 at their own 24. A handoff to Harris to begin the drive. And yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Brandon, five yards on that run. Let's get back to the huddle and make sure if you're a back, you spend time with your offensive line and give them credit. Hard to move those 300 plus pounders at the line of scrimmage, and they did for a significant chunk of yardage. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. His second catch of the Super Bowl, and it's good enough for a first down. One quarter done, and three more to play here in Super Bowl 57. 14-3, that's our score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Welcome back to the date on the calendar. We circle every year, Super Bowl Sunday. Brandon God and Charles Davis here with you as we get set to begin quarter two. And they'll get to him after a gain of seven to the 47. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. Throwing on second and three. Jones. Throw left side, got to be taken in by Harris. And he's got this to the 30 before being taken down. 23 yards the pick up there. Boy, a lot of moving parts on this play, but what a nice design to leak the running back out to the left and send him down the field. And a good job spotting him and hitting him for a big play. Now a first down carry for Harris. He'll get about six there as he takes this one down to the 24-yard line. They've created a nice sustained drive off of plays like that. A nice strong run there. It keeps them advancing the ball. The last run got six. Now second and four. Now here's another carry for Harris. And he'll be brought down inside the 20 at the 19. 61 yards rushing for him now in the first half of this Super Bowl. We both know it's difficult, but they've made it look effortless out there. Through the air, on the ground, they've moved the ball with relative ease. Inside the red zone here, they'll look to throw. Complete, it's Henry. And they've got this down to about the 12-yard line. I know the halftime's approaching, but I don't think he's going to want to take a break. That's his fifth catch. Yeah, they've really been targeting the tight end. Three yards remain for second down. Up the middle, here's Stevenson. And he'll fight his way down inside the 10 to the 9-yard line. Call it a gain of three, but not enough to move the sticks. It'll be third and about a foot or two. What a luxury to have a guy like this who can not only spell your starter, but can come in and keep drives going. Off the play fake, Jones. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. Oh, nice defensive effort there, providing the hit as the ball got to the receiver, separates him from the catch, and normally he's a sure-handed target. Giving to the big tight end on fourth. And he won't have the touchdown, but he will have the first down as he's tackled at the two. They're able to keep the drive alive seven yards that time, and the decision to go for it proves to be a good one. Harris. And he'll go backwards, losing yardage to the five. Back at the five-yard line now, second and goal. Off play action, Jones. A uh, quick throw knocked away and incomplete. That's a really nice job there by the coverage, understanding that they're in a high-stakes situation. If he doesn't make a play on that ball, there's an excellent chance it ends up either as a touchdown or as a nice gain downfield. And he'll keep working toward that end zone as he's down to about the two-yard line. Oh 
So a decision to make there. They decline the penalty as they'd rather force the fourth down. Going with her tight end on fourth. And he's in. Touchdown, Patriots. Janu Smith taking it in from two yards out. And the Pats continue to look good here in the first half of this Super Bowl. So, Charles, that's three touchdowns on three drives, and it's just been an offensive barrage so far. Great word, partner, using barrage right there. I'm going to add another word, if you don't mind. How about perfection? No surprise that they're leading right now. Absolute dominance throughout this ball game, and no signs of slowing down. Folk now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. The return man down to a knee, and this will come out to the 25-yard line. The Packers ready to take over offensively. It's been very much a slow start for them. Three drives and just the three points, CD. Yeah, if you're into the points per drive ratio, that answer is one. And that's not going to get it done in a ball game. They've got to find a way to finish these drives in end zones, not have the balls go through goalposts. That's going to wind up a loss of a full three yards on first down. I have a feeling they'll stay committed to running the football, especially on the early downs. They just haven't had a whole lot of success just yet. Second down, another shot for Jones. Yeah, he'll be upended here after a pickup of three, getting it out to the 25. The offense on third down tonight, they've only converted once in four tries. This is third and ten. Shotgun now for Rodgers. And that is incomplete. Oh, he did everything but hold on to it. But a nice play defensively, and now it brings up fourth down. On is Presley Harvin now as he'll send this one away. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. Fair catch, signal four, and taken just shy of the 30-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt, and the Patriots take over. Offense returns to the field. There's the running back to Bruiser from Alabama, Damian Harris. And it may just be the second quarter, but he's in his own well on his way to eclipsing that 100-yard mark. And when a back has a game, as we're witnessing right now, his name's going to be in the books, but it's really a collective deal, isn't it? Because that the means he's getting plenty of blocking, a lot of help from his teammates, but he's making the most of it. Yeah, he's made the most of it to this point. Oh, it's time to give a little credit there to the defense. They played that very well because it was a drag route, and he ran a little shallower than normal as he worked straight across the field. He was hoping he'd get lost behind the defensive line, but once he made the catch, nowhere to turn up field and gain any yardage. He was a thousand yard receiver during the regular season, and that's his first catch of this Super Bowl, and he picks up the first down. They hand this off to Harris. And this time they were waiting for it as he'll be knocked down before he can get back to the line of scrimmage. Throwing on second down. Jones. Open man is Myers. And this is going to result in another first down as the tackle's made at the Packers 43. Give him 11 yards that time and a new set of downs. On the give, this is Harris. And he's able to carve out about six there, down to the 37. Not a ton of room available on that one, but he made use of what space was available and gained decent yardage. Again, it's Harris on second down. And that one opened up for him well as he'll take this down to the 26-yard line. 78 yards rushing for him now on 17 carries. Now a play fake here on first down. Rolling to his left. And he's going to be out down inside the 20 at the 15. Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. Partner, the good ones have a clock running in their head, okay? Because it says something like this. I've got this many seconds to find a target. After that, I have to tuck it and try and get some yardage on this first down snap. 
He doesn't just get some yards, though. He gets a big gain, and they'll come right back with another first and ten. It won't be a sack, but it's no gain, and it brings up second down. They run with Harris. And they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. The second down play, not much better than the first. Just a gain of one there. On third down, Jones. There's Henry. Touchdown, Patriots. Hunter Henry, his second touchdown of this Super Bowl. And the Patriots are starting to open things up here in this Super Bowl. You got to figure down by the goal line. This is where a tight end earns his money in the high traffic area. And he's able to work free in the middle of the end zone and grabs that one for a touchdown. Extra point up and good by Folk. And the route is on here in this first half. A 10-play drive that time, and it's finished off by a Pats touchdown. Folk now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. And he'll just sit on this one as their drive will start at the 25. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. These guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. On first and ten, here's Rodgers. And that throw behind his man, he missed him, incomplete. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. On the delay, Jones. And a good burst there, gets him seven up to midfield. But this play sequence was really kind of called in reverse. Incomplete pass on first and ten. Nice run on second and ten when probably everyone was expecting him to throw the football. Now if you're the defense, what are they going to do on third down? You're a little off balance. And it looks like he's going to be stopped short of the first down by about a yard. On fourth down, here's Presley Harvin on to punt. And this one will not be returnable as it sails out of bounds. We see the Patriot offense with Mac Jones back out there. He had the touchdown pass on the last drive, his second of this first half, as he'll try again on first down here. Now a pass here caught by Hunter Henry. And they work this well upfield across the 45. A good pick up there, a 22. Let's just call it what it is. This has been a flat-out struggle for this defense all game long. They've really had a hard time slowing them down. And while I'm not big on speeches and guys jumping up and down, they might need their team leader on defense to get in their face right now and light a fire under these guys. They've got to start playing better assignment football and start getting guys on the ground. And the last run got three. Now here's second and seven. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. Looking for Aguilar, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Jair Alexander. And into the end zone. It's a pick six and a Packer touchdown. Aldrich Rosas on for the extra point. And this is up and good. It cuts the lead to 28-10 now. So the defense creating some points, not only getting the interception, but then returning it to the end zone for the pick six. No run back here for Jones, a touchback. And now this offense comes back out onto the field. Jones and the Pats now with a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. They'll start on the ground with Harris. And yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. 
That's a really nice, tough run inside, and they gained five yards on it. And be frank about it, most offenses don't expect to get five yards on a play call like that. So when they do, they go back to their huddle with a little pep in their steps. They're starting to think that they're starting to dominate the line of scrimmage. Yeah, he'll be taken down, but not before they reach the 50. Four catches already here in this Super Bowl. He's got another first down. Here's Harris. It's a pickup of three, and we have now arrived at the two-minute warning. Coming up at halftime, I'll go from one personality, that's you, Charles Davis, to another one in Orlando, the coach. He'll have stats and scores from around the NFL. You and Jonathan Coachman, both larger than life. No doubt about it. But you're stuck with me in this booth, <laughs> yes, and he's miles away and smiling. And happy. Oh, man, for him to be that wide open and drop it. Sometimes you have just too much time on your hands, right? You end up thinking way too much, and your hands get shaky. And, yes, he's a tight end, but that's a catch he should have made. And he's just short. He got six of the seven he needed, so that leaves a decision here on fourth and a yard. Oh, now a running play here with Smith. And he's going to have the first down yardage to the 35. They're able to keep the drive alive. Seven yards that time, and the decision to go for it proves to be a good one. Jones on first down. Open man right side, Myers. And finally down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. That's good for 28 yards. I tell you what, it looks like he's shaking off that pick six just fine. It's not just defensive backs that have to have short memories. Quarterbacks utilize that as well. A much more confident throw right there. They'll run with Harris. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Patriot touchdown. Damian Harris as the first half is winding down. And the Patriots are starting to pour it on of the game's biggest stage. They are running away with this Super Bowl. They have really had their way so far in the first half, but they wanted to continue to build on their lead. They know that no lead is safe in this league, so they decided to try their best to get one more as they headed into the half, and they got it done. Full connects on the extra point, and a route is on here in this first half. So that drive in total eight plays. And it was Damian Harris who finished things off with a touchdown run. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. And they're just going to run it here up the middle. And he's able to plow forward up to about the 29, just shy of the 30. The Packers going to use one of their timeouts as they stop it with 11 seconds remaining in this first half. Second and six, just inside the 30. Rodgers going to throw. This one complete to Tunyon underneath. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. And unless this is a quick incompletion, this is likely the last play here of this first half. Now Rodgers. He's going to loft one deep over the middle. Oh, that's into a double team, and it's intercepted. the Super Bowl as now we send you out to Orlando and hook back up with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. What a season this has been. Hard to believe it ends tonight as we'll get back to you guys for the second half of this Super Bowl in just a moment. 
Thus far, this Super Bowl has looked less like a contest and more like a coronation. And to call the second half, let's get it right back out to Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. These two teams sat through a longer-than-usual 30-minute wait, but we're back in action here in this Super Bowl. Taking it about the one. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. For the Patriots taking over to start quarter number three. And I would imagine this is where you have to take stock of the situation, CD, and say, gosh, we're halfway to the Lombardi Trophy. Let's not slow down now. And I like the way you went there. Let's not slow down now because the first half certainly went their way. And I would expect them to continue with that type of a game plan. But you're right. You do think back to Super Bowl 54. 49ers had a double-digit lead in the fourth quarter. Couldn't hold on. So plenty can still happen. And a good run here as he'll rumble all the way down to the 40-yard line. Another first down this time on a gain of 19. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time and making it work. Jones now throwing on first down. It's caught on the right side at Smith. And he's going to be taken down just shy of the 35. I think it's okay there. They didn't get a whole lot on that play, but it's nice to have a safety valve that's built like this guy. Big target, guy you can spot pretty easily. Put it on him when your other targets aren't open. Nothing doing. Barely able to muster a yard to hit the 35. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped them. Marked that down for a win in the defense's column. Back to throw. Jones. And this complete to Henry over the middle. And this is going to result in another first down as the tackle's made at the Packers' 24-yard line. The third down conversion successful. A gain of 11. So first and 10. And if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second half blowout material. Straight ahead at Stevenson. And he'll manage to pick up about four at second down. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Looking to throw. Jones. And this one's incomplete. He's lucky to be getting that one back. After what they've done with him all day long with all the targets trying to go after him, he's obviously gotten smart and his pride has kicked in. Made a terrific play. On third down, here's Harris. And he'll at least get him inside the red zone here, down to about the 19. Only a yard of the pick up there, and it's going to leave him with a fourth down. And the former Arizona Wildcat, Fulk, gets this one to go, and that will extend their lead even further. So after five touchdowns offensively, hey, maybe it's time to get the kicker a little work and he's able to connect there. I love that empathetic side of you. You're worried about him getting some action, getting to be a part of the game. Well, he got in and got it done. And he'll just take a seat and the drive will begin at the 25-yard line. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. But CD, they certainly know the hole that they face as they begin the second half. They have to do what precious few teams have done in NFL history. That's try to come back from a four-possession deficit. And partner, you know as that team gathers, they're saying to each other, you never say never, right? Because if you're on an NFL roster, that's how you have to think. You can always come back and win a ball game. And let's face it, we saw a certain Super Bowl, a 25-point lead late, that wasn't enough to put someone away. But that being said, this task is near impossible. Let's face it. And bottom line is, it officially becomes impossible if this possession 
is an empty one. And a strong run that time as he crossed midfield and down to the 43. That's a 12-yard gain now on back-to-back -back plays. So into Pat's territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 43. Working from the gun, Rodgers. That's complete to Dobbs. And they'll be stopped at the 28 on a play that started at the 14. They pick up 14. Rodgers now on first down. This one complete to Tunyon underneath. And they're going to get this down to about the 17-yard line here. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Into the red zone, it's Rodgers. He's got the hookup with Dobbs. And they're going to get this down inside the 15. Rodgers again now. He's got Tunyon complete over the middle. And the Packers are going to be looking at first and goal as they move this down to the four-yard line. And they'll turn to the power game to try to get in. And he's going to press this one forward as they stop it right around the one. So they've been in the red zone three times, and it's yielded just three points. Can they find the end zone here on second and goal? Rodgers now to throw. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. Well, he'd been targeted quite a bit on this drive, and finally, I think the guys on the defensive side, they said no more. They slapped the double coverage on him, made it very tough for him to get the ball. On third and goal, they're going to run the option. Call it no gain on the keeper, and it's going to bring up a fourth down. This defense continues to be good on third down. I mean, they haven't allowed a touchdown offensively. Are you saying, let's go for this. Let's try to get it in the end zone. I don't know about that because of what you just described. They've been so good, and they don't give up the... And he's got it. It's caught for a Packers touchdown. Robert Tunyon there to make the grab. And the Packers' decision to go for it pays off with six points. And his kick is good, but flags come in. Looks like we're going to get a roughing call here on the follow-through. So they'll go ahead and accept the penalty. After the roughing penalty on the PAT, they'll kick off from 15 yards further upfield. So the Patriots coming out now. Still operating with a comfortable lead despite the score a moment ago as they begin first and 10. Harris starts to drive on the ground. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. On second and nine, Jones. Very quick throw. He's got Myers. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Over 100 yards receiving for him now in the Super Bowl. This offensive game plan has just been sensational. I mean, when you think about all the different ways they've gotten their receivers open so far, it's really been impressive. Scheme, design, execution. Harris running straight ahead. And he'll be pretty well stopped in his tracks. Give him a yard up to the 42. Well, it's hard to have vision as a runner and find a hole when there's nothing but defenders in your way. They stacked that one up really well. But give him credit. Instead of trying to bounce it out and turn it into a big play, which might have turned into a big loss, Kai just took his medicine there and took the one yard. He's been big. Two touchdowns earlier. Now he's got a first down here. On the ground, it's Harris. And he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. If you're a coach, you'll absolutely take that run every time on first down because it really sets you up to go in a number of directions here on second. 
After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Off the play fake, Jones. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. Play number seven now coming up on the drive. Third and five. A give to Harris. And he gets it to the 34. Good enough for the first. Give him the third down conversion. Five yards on the play. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive. Because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense getting a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. Jones throwing complete for Harris. And he's brought down inside the 20 at the 18-yard line. Charles, did I just hear that right? They declined the personal foul. Three yards, they just declined them. And I have to think that the official is thinking to himself, did I just hear that correctly, that you declined that one? All I can think of is that someone on the field got confused. Must because have. It had to, because you're going to take the yards on that penalty each and every time. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Over the middle, complete. That's Henry. And the Patriots are going to be looking at first and goal as they move this down to the four-yard line. Just picking up yardage in bunches here. These last few plays, they have moved right down the field. And just like that, they can be set up with a first and goal. Stevenson will take this one in. Touchdown, Patriots. So another touchdown there, and even though we're still just here in the third quarter, kind of hard now to see them giving up this lead. And this is just an offense that's imposing its will right now. You name it, they're able to do it. If you're the play caller, whatever you want to select is there. You want to run it, you want to throw it, pick a play, any play. They're rocking and rolling right now. Extra point up and good by Folk, and that'll increase their lead to 28. Folk now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. As this offense comes back out here, Charles, they're trailing in this ball game, and they've been on the sideline for a while. They did score their last time out, but they just had to watch that long, sustained drive, so we'll see if they can shake the rust off. Yeah, that's always a, a question that you have when you have to come off the bench after having sat there for a long time. Are you ready to go? Are you loosened up? But even more so, are you mentally alert and ready to put your best product out there? Don't need it all back at once, but you figure they're going to need something here. 17 yards to go on second down. Another try after the first down sack. Rodgers, they get 14 back, but it leads now to a third down. And that was yardage that they needed there after the sack on first down. They didn't get all of it back, but now they look at third down as a manageable situation, one that they have a much better chance of picking up. And Rodgers is going to go down. Marching in for the sack, Matthew Judon. It's been a tough one all game long for this offensive line. They're already down big, and now you know they're just going to come after the quarterback in a big way, don't you? Yeah, that old, they just can't get out of their own way right now. It's created an avalanche, and an avalanche is coming right on top of them. On now is the Packers punter, as he'll come on for his fifth kick of the night. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. And a fair catch taken back near about the 35, 36-yard line. 37 yards on the punt with no return. And they will take over first and 10. The Pats at the line ready to go. And they'll be looking to build off of a nice drive last time, a drive that really relied on the quarterback. Making good decisions, distributing the ball well, distributing it accurately, keeping it away from danger. A really nicely run drive. But now the defense, what adjustments do they need to make in the passing game? Pass rush, pass rush, pass <laughs> rush. Whether it's the guys up front, or maybe you bring additional guys, but you've got to disrupt the timing of them throwing the football. Uh, we'll see if they can disrupt it here. On third and short, going with their tight end. 
And able to pick up the first across midfield to the 47. That's good for nine yards as they convert on the third down play. Throwing on first down, Jones. A quick throw knocked away. It's incomplete. As a defensive back, you have some weapons at your disposal that we don't often talk about. And you can read the receiver's eyes. You can read his hands. And you know that the arrival of the ball is imminent. And that allows you to make a play on it and oftentimes knock it away. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Getting had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one. Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. On third and short, to give to the tight end. And he'll be tackled about two yards shy of the line to gain. A one-yard pickup leads to fourth down. You know, we might start getting some props here in the booth. You know, that one that says the D and then the fence that you put up next to it. How about that? They brought out the jumbo package and still couldn't move them off the line of scrimmage enough to pick up that first down. Impressive. They were ready defensively for that jumbo set. And his kick is good. He got every bit of that one as it's good from 56 yards out. And that will extend their lead even further. So tack on three more, though this, it's just a rare drive where they did not find the end zone. Yeah, you're right about that, partner. But at this point, I don't think you're too concerned about that. You just want to possess the football for a while and drain the clock. If you can get three out of it, that's great, too. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. See if they can put this drive in the end zone, Charles, because it, it's been a little bit of a rough go at times. They've had to punt the football a ton in this ball game because of stalled out drives. So are you saying that you're kind of tired of seeing the punter run out there and do his thing during this game? Is that what you're trying to say? Yeah. Well, I mean, I'm okay with it. I have a feeling that this offense, they don't want to see the punter again. And frankly, the punter doesn't want to run out there anymore himself. He would love to see his offense put together a drive and give his leg a rest. Throwing on first down is Rodgers. He finds his man complete. That's Cobb. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work this to the 45. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Throwing is Rodgers. Man open here is Jones. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. And again, it's Rodgers. Got Dobbs over the middle. It'll go down as a gain of six, and it's second down. Second time in this game, Charles, the ball is squirted out from his hands. Luckily, his teammate was there to pounce on it. You're right. Got the lucky bounce, able to retain possession. You know, we often talk about the combine and why do we measure quarterbacks' hands? Is that really a big deal? It's for situations like this. Do you have the hands big enough and strong enough to hold on to the football while being jostled? Now this incomplete, and I don't see any flags coming out. He was clearly in the pocket, but they'll say there was a receiver in the area, and that brings up fourth down. Touchdown, Packers! Romeo Dobbs, a 12-yard touchdown grab. And the Packers get a small measure of revenge as they cut into this fourth-quarter deficit. Rosas good with the extra point, and the lead is down to 24. So that winds up a seven-play drive all told. And that drive all capped off with a Romeo Dobbs touchdown. Taken in at the three. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. Now 
comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. And they are trying to play it cool down on the sidelines, but they know that they are very close now to wrapping this thing up and letting the celebration begin. A Super Bowl title within reach now as they try to polish this thing off. And he'll be taken down, but not before they reach the 50. 48 yards now on the ground on just seven carries. Back to Stevenson on first down. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practice for this. They knew they'd be in situations. From just shy of midfield, Jones. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Well, fourth quarter with a three-score lead here, Charles, but they're still going back to the air and looking for more points. Well, with this game well in hand, it's an opportunity for the guys to come off the bench and get a chance to play. And a lot of coaches, they want to run their full playbook no matter who's on the field. Call it a gain of three, and it'll bring up fourth down. Well, that's not a run that's going to make any of the highlight tapes, but they've been moving it well all game on the ground. This is another one that keeps them moving forward. Complete, Hunter Henry with the grab. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. Not often to fourth down conversions result in 23 yards, but that's the case here, first down. But normally you might say start running the football, you've got the lead here in the fourth quarter, but the way that they've passed it with such success, I don't know, maybe keep throwing it. Yeah, I think you brought up something that goes against conventional wisdom, right? At this stage of the game, you would think you would switch to a running attack, but you're exactly right. They've thrown it so well throughout the game, and trusting this quarterback, I think he continue to do so. On second down, it's Taylor. And not able to break away this time as they're going to stop him right around the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play, and it's going to bring up a third down. Back to throw. Jones toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Tight end has become a bigger and bigger part of the passing game in the NFL, but if you drop the football, that position could get swapped out with a you know, wide receiver in that spot, a running back in that spot. There are other ways they can go if you're not going to catch the ball. And that's not just his first drop, his second drop of the game. Well, ultimately, not really sure that they're going to need those three points, but they'll take the three, and they pad that lead. Yeah, this one's already wrapped up, but you and I both know, if you're an offensive coordinator, you never let up on the gas unless the head coach tells you to do so. And maybe you've actually clicked him off in your headset so you can keep calling plays and trying to add to this lead. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. Those Super Bowl hopes that they had really dwindling now here in the fourth quarter. That NFC crown that they got two weeks ago seems like a distant memory as they have been outplayed tonight. Ball at a gain of three on the play, and it'll be second down. Here's Rodgers. He'll drop this underneath for Jones. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 13 yards, first down, Packers. Now it's Rodgers. Open man left side, it's the tight end, Tunyon. A gain of eight there on the play. And they'll be left with second and a couple. Rodgers to throw once more. Nothing open downfield, so he'll throw it away. Well, the trials and tribulations of being a quarterback in this league, it's tough. It's got to be wearing on him out there. Well, he has been sacked a number of times. He had an interception, so I'm going to give him a skosh of credit for hanging in there and trying to make something happen, despite the amount of pressure he's been under this entire game. Rodgers finding Watson for the Packer first. I think everyone in the stadium saw that big hit coming. And I, as a former defensive back, 
have to admit I'm a little disappointed. He actually was able to hold on to the ball. He brought the lumber on that play. Give my man a whole lot of credit for taking the hit and possessing the football. And picking up the first down. Throwing again on second down. Rodgers. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. The Packers on third down. They've converted just twice and have had plenty of opportunities. Here it's third and three. He finds his man complete. That's Cobb. And he's going to have a Packers first down as this defense unable to hold. It's a seven-yard game there on third and two. Again, they'll throw with Rodgers. Tunyon's got it on the out route. And he'll be taken down at about the 22-yard line. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", 6'5", and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players. Somehow came back to football. That's really good for the game of football. You get better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination. Guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. And this throw a bit late as he couldn't reach back for it. At this point, down big, you'd have to imagine this defense are just going to sit back, blanket the field as best they can. Yeah, this is actually the easy part of the game for them because, just as you noted, they can sit back, keep everything in front of them. But they blanketed the field the entire game using a variety of coverages. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. Rodgers to throw on third and one. This is caught. And the Packers are going to have first and goal coming up as they're able to convert there on third and two. Well, they've had a great, impressive drive going here, and that pickup ensures the drive continues. And not only do you continue the drive, which is demoralizing for the guys on the defensive side of the ball right now, but you make your own defense happy. They're able to get a little more. And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, Packers. Aaron Jones punching it in from a yard away. And the Packers get a bit closer. Rosas to add the extra point. And the lead is down to 20. That one was an extended drive. 14 plays all told. And the last play in the drive was a touchdown run by Aaron Jones. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts. It's just their first. They'll be down to two remaining as we step aside here in the fourth quarter. So still lots of work left to do, but here comes the onside kick. And this is secured by the Patriots. The risk reward of the onside kick. When you don't get it, the risk comes out to play, and here they gave up great field position. And that's the key to everything because you're trying your best to press advantages when you have them. And field position leads you to that type of play calling in whether you want to blitz or whether you want to throw the ball deep, those types of things. Not they've given up that type of field position, the advantage is switched to their opponent. 60 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. They run once more with Stevenson. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Looking to speed things up here, going with some tempo. On third down, here's Stevenson. And he'll be stopped up quickly here at the 38. Just a one-yard pickup there, and it'll be fourth down. And now Nick Folk, his career-long 56 yards. This officially a 55-yard attempt. And he has got it from 55 yards away. That was never in doubt. And that will extend their lead even further. These kickers now, it's like we take them for granted. Kicks like that used to be such a big deal, and now you just expect them to make it. Yeah, you're exactly right. And we shouldn't take them for granted, but I have a theory about it. You want to hear it? Yeah. They are more athletic now than ever before. Talk about kickers. Trace their backgrounds, trace their histories. You'll find that they were big-time athletes all along, but their kicking was so prevalent that we made them specialists. Well, and now those 50-plus yarders seem easy for some reason. 
Now a dump off here complete. Finding space at the 40. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. 28 yards the game there on the catch and run. So into Pat's territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 47. From the gun, it's Rodgers. A throw complete to the tight end, Tunyon. And he'll be brought down on the other side of midfield at the 43. Looking to throw again on second down. Rodgers. And the tackle going to be made at the 38. You got the big lead defensively. Willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. Rodgers going to try and throw on third down. This one swung out here to Jones. And he's going to have a Packers first down as they're able to convert, albeit not by much, on third and a yard. Throwing now is Rodgers. He'll find Jones again, complete. And he'll take this forward for about five as we have come upon the two-minute warning. So it's Packer football here as we welcome you back. They're looking at second down now as they search for a consolation score. From the 31, Rodgers. And the timing a bit off that time as that one falls to the ground. This has been a rough one to put it mildly for him, and after this one's done, you just feel like at the post-game press conference, this team's going to have a lot of questions and definitely not a lot of answers. And that will be incomplete as well. well how about the coverage we just saw break out on third down? Dive defense, blanketed the field with extra defensive backs and speed, unable to find an open hole to complete that pass. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. They had to go for it with such little time remaining, and the Patriots' defense is going to take over on downs. The Pats at the line ready to go. And a few kneel downs should just about do it. Now, defensively, they do have all three timeouts, but very little reason to use them at this point. And it'll be incomplete. Good job staying with him defensively. And it'll bring up second down. I think it's fairly safe to call this game over, but they're still trying to bomb it downfield and add to their lead. Almost makes you start to feel for the defense and root for them a little bit, too. On second down, it's Stevenson. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. Throwing Jones. Open man is Jacoby Myers. He's got it. And he will have a Patriots first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Up the middle, here's Stevenson. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Now it looks like he'll throw here. And that'll be incomplete. Tremendous coverage there. Just did not catch the football, complete the interception. But what do they say all the time? If he had really good hands, he'd be playing offense. Now a handoff, Stevenson. Well, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. Now the Patriots will use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. They'll go with Strong. And he's going to have the first down yardage to the 35. Well, we kind of looked at each other as they decided to go for it. But in the end, great execution, a six-yard gain, and it all works out. And the kick is good. So you wonder how this one might be remembered the next time these two teams meet. But until then, this game's over. It's another Super Bowl title for the New England Patriots.
And when this moment comes, I think you look back at all the blood, sweat, and tears, the offseason, the workouts, training camp, week one, two, three, all building up now to say you're a Super Bowl champion. It's worth it. It certainly is, and rarely do we have a team that hoists the Lombardi Trophy that didn't have their share of bumps along the way, didn't have to face some adversity in the journey, and now they get to just enjoy it and revel in it. And all offseason, They'll be signing their autographs with Super Bowl champion underneath it. And they end this year just how everybody wants to end the year, holding the Lombardi Trophy. What a season for them. What a ride it's been for us as well here in the booth. For Charles Davis and our entire crew, I'm Brandon Gunn. Thanks for watching, everybody. We will see you next season right here on EA Sports.